Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today I'm hanging out with Mike. We're here in Hamilton Township, New Jersey. Mike has a really cool school bus camper conversion. He's gonna give us a tour of today. How's it going? This is my bus. Um, it's a T444E, um, 73 diesel. It's a seven window long bus, which is a little rare and harder to find. Um, and it's painted like the 18 bus. So why don't we go check it out? This is the cockpit. I added a bunch of stuff in there. We'll talk about that in a minute. These two bed sheets right here um, open up and turn into a full length bed. We got a little bar over there, fridge, little kitchenette, microwave, everything you need, bathroom in the back. We got a nice uh, <clears throat> uh, twin bed here. So now you guys know what everything is and I'll show you a little more detail here. So this is the cockpit. Um, you switch all these up and that turns on your radio, your backup camera, your CB, um, voltage display, all the amps. It turns everything on so you can basically do whatever you need to do right from this panel. Um, next, we have these two uh, bench seats. This one right here opens up and that is all the electrical for this thing. We have two uh, deep cell batteries here. They're flooded. They're Duracell uh, Ultras. The, uh, we have a uh, 20 amp charger here which charges the uh, dr uh, driving batteries and these batteries at the same time when you're plugged in. We also have a uh, 2300 watt inverter. That all runs into this panel. And that panel is going to distribute power between all three systems, meaning solar panels, inverter, and built-in generator. This is just tools and my amps and uh, just extra stuff. Over here is just miscellaneous <laughs> pots and pans. These both open up and an insert goes here. And then you got yourself a nice big bed. Very comfortable. And it's a lot easier, it's real easy to put away. Okay. We have a nice little end table here. You can have your nice little personal bar. We got the uh, little Vizio TV up there if you actually feel like watching TV. We got a nice little uh, three cubic foot uh, Frigidaire fridge here into the kitchen here. Just some cabinets for storage and food. Microwave, of course, coffee maker a must. Just a small sink to save some counter space. This is the water pump switch when you want to use the uh, sink down in here. We have uh, a 30 gallon water tank for the toilet and the sink and just a bunch of cooking stuff. Moving forward, we have a twin bed. This is another 30 gallon water tank which operates the outdoor shower. And then we're moving on to the bathroom. Bathroom has a little storage in it, a nice little slide out box. We have uh, a marine toilet with a macerator in it. It's got a built in pump and macerator. This way you don't have to actually have a pump or anything. It just macerates everything and brings it all right through this little tube into the waste tank. It's a nice little toilet and it's electric. Uh, this is just a small um, propane tank that actually um, operates the propane heater on a real cold day. A little more storage there. They actually custom made these curtains um, with all the fit particularly in between each bus window. And what's a bathroom without a mirror? This I actually am very proud of. This is Mr. T right here, but Mr. T is held in a secret. <laughs> just in case you have any valuables or anything you want to hide away, you can just close that and it automatically locks electronically. This is the uh, propane heater on a really cold night. 
this will heat this bus well. It's fueled by a small propane tank here that'll last two straight days. And for privacy in the bathroom, you know, you just, what you gotta do is slide out the accordion door. Sorry, there's no lock. <laughs> I right, just got a little clothes hanger here I made out of, uh, you know, plumbing pipe. <laughs> uh, this is actually um, a cabinet from an ambulance that I actually own. And I thought it'd be good to reincorporate it in here. We got our standard emergency hatches, which are nice when you want to uh, cool it down in here. The bed opens up for storage. The, uh, we have an electric heater here um, for like moderately cold nights, you know, when you just want to heat up, we get to heat up a little bit. We have a 1500 watt, uh, I'm sorry, 1500 uh, BTU air conditioner on the roof, and the um, exhaust fan, and uh, another emergency exit. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Um, that's about uh, that's about it. <laughs> so outside we have um, two exterior lights right here. You know, for when you want to have like some nice porch lights when you're outside at night. Um, up front here. I have two exterior speakers, loudspeaker for the PA system, and CB. These uh, lights, I ripped out all of the uh, electronics and put in a strobe system in there, so all these flash. So uh, as you can see, I actually put these uh, see-through graphics on the windows just to uh, fill in all that paint scheme a little better. Down here we have a uh, just a tube that holds the um, the wastewater uh, hose and. Uh, over here we have um, exterior outlets, some uh, exterior water supply. This is just the vent for the, um, the toilet. And then back here we have the uh, black water tank. Uh, over here we have the exterior shower. It's basically a water pump that runs off propane. You just take your little shower head out of here and you hook it on the hook up here and you know, just take a shower outside. That's our backup camera. Uh, these uh, rear lights flash as well. And this is the generator housing. And this actually pulls out like this. A little dirty, <laughs> but it works great. It's a 47, 4750 uh, wind generator. It um, can power everything in here, including the air conditioner, for the entire time it's on. Drawer folds right back in there, pulls right back up. And we have uh, just an outdoor uh, underbody storage box that I like to use for all the miscellaneous cords and everything I have. And that's the uh, shore power plug. That's uh, if you want to direct connect to uh, household power. Like, thank you very much for taking the time to give us a tour of your awesome creation. Now, this is a fabrication shop you have here. I see like an ambulance in the background. You must build a lot of cool stuff here. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about how they're going to be able to follow you? Yeah, you can actually find me on Jam Custom Fabrications at on Facebook or Instagram, um, and you can see some of the other builds like this that we do. Uh, this is for sale. It is uh, currently up on Van Life Trader and Facebook Marketplace in Hamilton, New Jersey. If you are interested in buying it, let's talk. I'll make sure I put the link in the description if it's still for sale. I know this is going to sell quickly. I've seen it blowing up all I over so. Facebook. It's being shared <laughs> everywhere. Everybody loves it. Yeah. But if it's still for sale when this video comes out, I'll make sure I put a link there. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. We'll see you soon. Thank you.